Welcome to Samuel's Kitchen. I know you guys are hungry, so let's get right into it. Today, I will be sharing my super easy spicy baked tilapia recipe. I've shared this recipe with so many people and everyone loves it. It's super easy, you only need a few ingredients and it comes out really well all the time. The first step is to clean your fish thoroughly. So cut the fins, degut the fish and clean the scales. Personally, <laughs> I like to get rid of the eyes because when I am eating, I don't want anyone staring at me. So make sure you clean the fish well. I'm not sure if you guys have ever had fish that smelled like fish. It is not pleasant and you definitely don't want your fish to smell like fish. Trust me. Next, you're going to make a few incisions on both sides of the fish. I usually do three to four on each side, depending on the size. So if it's a smaller fish, I will make three. And if it's a larger fish, I would make about four on each side. Once all of that is done, you're going to make a salt, vinegar, and fresh lemon juice mix and soak the fish for a few minutes. This step is really important. You want to make sure your fish does not smell like fish. So make sure you're taking your time with this particular step. Once that's done, you're going to rinse with cold water and you're going to pat the fish dry. For my seasoning, I am using habanero peppers, onion, fresh ginger, fresh garlic, suya spice, and red bell pepper. For the ganyas in the house, suya spice is the exact same thing as chinchinga slash kebab powder. So you can use that, that's totally fine. So I am going to add a little bit of salt based on my preference and instead of using water to blend, I am going to use oil. So I am going to blend until chunky. I don't want it to be entirely smooth because I still want bits and pieces of the onion and the ginger and the garlic in there. So that is totally fine. Once that is done, I am going to pour it all over the fish. And as you can see, I am wearing gloves because it is really, really hot. So you're going to cover the fish fully, making sure that you put the seasoning inside of the fish and all over the fish. For the ganyans in the house, for seasoning, fish to translate. I'm just taking the seasoning and putting it inside of the fish. So once I am ready to bake, I am going to preheat my oven to 350 degrees. I am going to line a baking tray with aluminum foil and add a little bit of oil. So once I transfer the fish to the baking tray, right before I bake, I am going to sprinkle just a little bit more oil on top of the fish. Now this is entirely optional, but this is how I like to do mine. Once the fish is done baking, it's going to give it a really good color and it's going to look good. Again, for the ganyans in the house, fish no so be a fish no So I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil and I'm going to bake it for 30 minutes. While the fish is baking, I am going to make my garnish. Now the garnish is really easy. I usually just grab any veggies that I have in the house and that's usually onions and different types of bell peppers. So yellow, red, green. I slice it up, I add it to a pan and I add a little bit of suya spice and I toss it around for a few minutes. Nothing too crazy, but this is what I like to have with my fish.
and after 30 minutes your fish is done look at that I told you guys when you add the oil it makes the fish shine when everybody sees it it looks really good so I'm going to add the garnish to it this fish looks really good and it tastes really good too so to serve I had mine with some benku with some sealized shrimp some fresh meko and of course SK shito you cannot have this meal without SK shito it's super easy and it's delicious Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And if you want me to cook anything specific, please make sure to leave a comment below. And remember guys, life is too short to eat bad food.